Take me out to the ball game. Hey everybody, Glenn Gould here again. Wanted to talk about the Little League World Series because this week is Little League World Series week and I thought maybe it'd be fun if we shared our Little League stories. I'm gonna share mine with a little bit of a twist. Share your Little League story down in the comment section below. I think it would be fun if we kind of share our stories. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was, um, I was a good baseball player, a really good baseball player. And I grew up in an apartment complex and there was a baseball field and, and a lot of us played baseball. And then of course, signed up for Little League and I was one of the better players. I'll never forget the, the one game that uh, really stands out in my mind. It was the bottom of the sixth and you know, back in Little League, you only played six innings. And it, the game was tied. Back then we kept score. I know that sounds crazy now, right? But we kept score and our teams are tied and I'm up at bat. We're behind by, by a couple of runs and the bases are loaded and it's two outs and it's just me and, and, and that pitcher. And I don't even know what his name was, but I remember going up there and the coach said, listen, don't swing. Don't, don't, don't swing. Just, um, just, just, this guy's got to be nervous. He's going to walk you. He's going to walk the next guy. We're going to win. Don't swing. He's too scared. So I went up there and of course, first thing I did was swing at the first pitch and coach called me over. He goes, I told you not to swing. Don't swing. And so I stood up there for a couple of pitches, you know, two pitches, both balls. And, and I could tell he was nervous. Coach was right. Finally, I just couldn't take it anymore. He threw one right down the middle. I swung and I missed it. And the coach was furious. Boy, he called me back over. Listen, I'm not kidding. Don't you dare swing. I stood up there and the next one uh, came and it was a terrible pitch and I, I stood there and so here we are, three balls, two strikes, bottom of the sixth. I mean, everything's riding on this, right? Coach looks at me and I can tell he's telling me don't swing. Pitch comes and I just couldn't help it. I just took a swing and I got lucky. I hit the ball and it soared over the fence and I ran the bases. I was so excited, so excited I'd won the game. I walked into the dugout and the coach looked at me and said, I told you not to swing. What are you doing? And I said, coach, I couldn't help it. I'm not going to be in the biggest game of my life and not take a swing for the fences. Now, of course, <laughs> that's not really the way the story goes. Truth is, I was a pretty average player. I wasn't even average. I, was, I wasn't very good. I was, you know, one of the last guys taken for the baseball team. I practiced a lot. I wanted to be a good player, but I just wasn't. I only played one Little League season, and during that Little League season, I was the eighth batter in the lineup, and that's uh, usually the guy that uh, is, you know, not very good, but the coach tells you that, uh, hey, you're, you're batting second cleanup. <laughs> second cleanup never comes. And uh, I was a catcher when I got to play, and of course, that was because I was one of the bigger kids, and uh, I could block the ball. That was about it, right? I never hit a home run that uh, was out over the fence. I did hit one foul ball that went over the fence, maybe. But, uh, you know, the truth is, I did hit one inside the park home run. The only reason it was was because as I ran the bases, the other team kept throwing the ball away and I was able to go to the next base. I won the game ball for that game. I I'll, 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 will never forget that. It was only because it was my turn to win the game ball. I really wasn't very good at baseball at all. But you see, here's the point. I can choose to remember that any way I want to, and I won't hurt anybody. And for a long time in my life, I've remembered that I've hit a home run as a young lad playing baseball. I don't have to have all the other details. I hit a home run. So what lies are you telling yourself about you? Are they good ones? I'll bet they aren't. Most of us spend a lot of time telling ourselves negative stories about ourselves that hold us back and really probably aren't even true. If we're gonna tell some lies about ourselves, why not tell good lies? Why not see how that takes us? I'll tell you this much, for about 40 years I've remembered that I was a good baseball player, even though I wasn't. And it didn't hurt anybody, and it sure did help me because it kept me interested in baseball. It made me uh, more confident when I was teaching my kids a little bit about t-ball, and uh, it certainly made it a whole lot more fun to be around the baseball park, so. Good luck to everybody in the Little League World Series. Hope your team wins. You know, everybody wins if they just decide they did. <laughs>